Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah. This is a first for me making a video like this. I don't typically sit down with the camera and just continuously film a video, but I wanted to try it today. For today's video, I am going to be showing you guys everything that myself and my roommates got at the Painted Tree Boutique. The Painted Tree Boutique is a place that I, before two days ago, had never heard of. We originally, at one of our little shopping complexes, had a Bed Bath & Beyond that closed and a Painted Tree Boutique moved in and we decided to check it out a few days ago. What I got from the experience when I went there was it's basically a giant store. There are rows and rows of little individual boutiques lined up that each have their own type of character, decor. I mean, these booths are just literally gorgeous. They are all so unique, so different. It's basically the perfect place to go to rent out your own little space and sell homemade goods. It could be baked goods. It could be clothing. The possibilities are endless. I saw freeze-dried candy. I saw so many crew necks. Home decor, of course, and we got a few home decor items, but I'll be showing you everything that we got today. Let's just get right into it because some of this stuff I'm really excited to show you guys. So I'm going to start off with some personal items that I got for myself. This little trip to the Painted Tree Boutique was also a birthday gift for myself and I am extremely grateful for everything that my roommates got me for my birthday. I really want to start with this one first because I'm so excited about it but it is this handmade cup with a bunch of positive self-affirmations. I'll read you guys a few. I am strong. Self-care is important. It's okay to have setbacks. My feelings are valid. I am enough. I learn from my past. I love this one. It says, I set boundaries and I respect them. I think I'm going to need to get scissors because there's like a zip tie around it unless I can slide it over the cup. There's also this little package here that has a straw. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to just slip the zip tie off, which is nice because usually zip ties are hard to get off. But something that I realized that I wish I would have done going into this video was making sure I wrote down every boutique that we went to, the names of them, so I could give credits. I will link the Painted Tree Boutique locations down below so if you want to check them out you'll be able to go on their directory hopefully they have a directory fingers crossed and you can check them out i love that it says that it says a cup of self-love and that's just so true because this cup is full of amazing quotes they're calling this a glass can but we have gotten similar cups like this from francesca's at the mall and they refer to them as beer mugs but I love these for iced coffee in the morning. And it comes with this little glass can care sheet so you know exactly how to take care of your cup so you don't damage it. I think it comes with a straw cleaner, which if it does, that is so cool. I'm taking a wild guess here, but it does say Gordon Craftworks. I wonder if this is the brand. Not for sure. Here it is. They wrapped it in this like gold tissue paper. Love that. So it comes with a straw and it is a more batter type of straw that looks so cute it is definitely kind of like a looser fit straw so it's definitely not leak proof and the fact that they give you a little straw cleaner is the cutest thing ever i love that they thought ahead that maybe someone might not own a straw cleaner i do own a few of my own but this is so cute the next thing that i got is this car freshener and it's scented like fruit loops and i don't know what it is but anything fruit loop or fruity pebble scented is just kind of a weakness for me like i feel like i love things that are scented that cereal mainly because i don't eat it but i think it smells so good but here is the packaging. I don't think you guys know this about me, but I don't have a car. I had to sell my car a couple months ago because she bit the dust. But we take Zach's car a lot, so he said that I could put this in his car. It does say in my self-love era, but aren't we all? Like, we're all in our self-love era, so. It says at the top, Simply Modern Sense, so I'm gonna take a wild guess that Simply Modern Sense is the brand and the boutique that I got this from but don't quote me on that. Let's open it up and smell it together. I love this packaging, it's so like, holographic. I'm definitely a little confused by this uh, car freshener because if you look at it, this is the car freshener here and on the back side, it's like this almost like rubbery type of material. It smells 
so good. Like this, literally, it just smells so good. I cannot wait to put this in Zach's car. I really hope it does make the car smell like Fruit Loops because that would be so awesome. But it is really cute looking. It just almost resembles a coaster. I'm really curious to know what this is because you can tell it's hard and usually your typical car scent is paper like one of those cardboard trees or in a plastic container and there's a little scented liquid in it so this is interesting but it's definitely very cute and it smells amazing and I know at the store they claimed that this lasts three to four weeks in your car so if it lasts a good month I think that's worth it the next thing I got was in preparation for Valentine's Day which is in a few weeks these earrings I had to snatch these are so cute if I can get this thing to focus they are little white cats with hearts I think these are literally adorable um i think i'm actually gonna try them on for you guys right now and the coolest part was these were only 6.99 i feel like that is such a good deal for a pair of earrings this is hard to do without a mirror i'm like looking at my viewfinder <gasps> they're so cute guys stop here's a little close-up oh my gosh they're literally so cute guys Unfortunately, I do not know what brand these are. Moving on, if you know me, you know I am the biggest fan of crewnecks. I own probably 30 crewnecks, if not more. I am obsessed with them. So if I see a good crewneck, you know I will snatch it up. This is a crewneck that I got. Ignore the fact that I think they forgot to take the security tag off, but honestly, I'll probably just cut the tag off because I don't think I really need it but here's the crew neck it is this red with the slightest hint of pink crew neck and it has three little strawberries on the front all different dipped strawberries I think this is the cutest thing ever and if you haven't already guessed it I am wearing these with my earrings on Valentine's Day because this is so freaking cute and I believe I can credit the booth it says Annabelle Arthur, so wild guess that Annabelle Arthur was the boutique stand that we got this at. It was also $45, which in my opinion isn't too expensive for a crew neck. I would pay $45 for a crew neck, probably not much more than that. A lot of the crew necks I get, I get from PacSun and they're around 35 to 40, so I don't find this to be a bad deal, especially because the fabric is a really good material it's very thick and i think it'll last me a long time okay i think i only have one more item that is mine alone at work i wear a vest and a lot of people like to put little pins on their vest just to kind of show their personality all that jazz so i got this little enamel pin it has a little cat and it says whatever on the side which honestly that is such a mood when I'm at work I felt like I just had to get this to put on my vest and I believe the boutique or I keep saying boutique but I think the booth's name is noteworthy co it does say that on the top right here so I feel like that's who I can credit we're now gonna move on to home decor items which I am so excited to show you guys I have one two three four five six seven items to show you I wish you guys could have seen this shop it was literally just coasters um, posters little um, home decor wooden objects with cats and dogs and little phrases so if you were a pet owner this would be the perfect booth to go to so the first one this one has a little cat it says the bowl ain't gonna fill itself which honestly my roommates and i were cracking up over these coasters because they are so true there is a little card in the back so i can tell you guys what booth this was it is Jamie Marath, M-O-R-A-T-H Art. This is so cute and it's it's a good quality coaster. So this is definitely going to be a very cute addition to our home decor. The next one, it says the best things in life are rescued. This one is just so sweet and so true. They definitely add a lot of happiness to our everyday lives. A little bit of annoyance, but it's okay. And then the last coaster says, Yes, I heard you calling. Did you hear me ignoring you? Which 
literally before I started this video I tried to calm one of my cats to my lap because I wanted to pet him and he was looking at me dead in the eye and chose not to come and see me <laughs> this is such a cat thing to do I just love it hopefully I don't break this when I try to show you guys this because it's really big here is the next piece that we got this is actually giant we are going to hang this behind our couch it says enjoy the little things on it and it's this nice wood colored frame and then it's white background with black writing and I love the font and I just think this is gonna look so cute behind the couch myself and my roommates actually got a chance to talk to the owners they were restocking their booth at the store and they were such sweet people they even gave us their business card so we could go to their website and order more things if we wanted Here's the other one that we got because in my head I have a vision of how I want to have everything set up behind the couch. But this one says, because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. Hopefully you guys can see that because I can't really. <laughs> Both of these pieces were $55 each, so they're definitely more on the pricey side. But if you guys were here holding these posters... I don't know why I keep calling them posters. I don't know what else I would call them, like frames? I don't know. They are very heavy, they're made out of pure wood, and you can tell that a lot of love and effort was put into them, which I think is so special. I thought that those two posters alone on the wall might look a little out of place, so I got one of these to go on one side of them. I believe the owner said that this is supposed to be a lavender plant. I got this one. I believe this is a thing of roses. I could be wrong, but these ones are definitely a lot smaller, but I think it'll look really nice on the wall. I love that they're handmade locally. I think that is the coolest thing, and I'm so excited to add that to our house. All of those frames we purchased from Hometown Woodworks and Works in that little phrase right there is spelled W-E-R-K-S, but don't worry, I am going to try and link every booth that I remember down below in the description if you guys want to check them out. That is it for all of our home decor items. I'm going to move on to everything that my roommate Zach got. First up are some socks. I think he said they were three for 12. So here are all the pairs that he got. We have a pair of pineapples, which is really cute. I think these ones look a little bit longer than the other two pairs. I don't think the booth was called Foozies. Honestly, they had so many socks, like they had to have 200 plus pairs of socks hanging up and they were all different brands and I don't think they were personal brands from someone that was local because a lot of those booths that were in the store were local, you could tell, but I think someone just mass bought sock brand after sock brand and hung them up. <laughs> That's just my guess, but anyway. Next pair, it says espresso, latte, he's obsessed with coffee, this just makes sense. And the last pair, I don't quite understand, but it has sharks on it. Got the little shark poking out of the water, and then we have a little fin, kind of like a little Jaws moment, so. Next up, we have some buttons. It says SDS Media Design, so maybe that is the shop, not sure, but the first button is of the band queen next button is for the gorillas zach's very into bands so this just makes sense and the last one is a harry styles button and i think it says fine line on it which is one of his albums so those are cool and they're all two dollars each which i think is a great deal for a pin he also got a pin from the same place that i got my cat pin and it says i need sleep he also got this beeswax shea butter eucalyptus lip balm all right here it is it is from be able services and it's spelled a b e l l so i think that is so cool it says handmade in kentucky and it's eucalyptus scented i think this is so cute it's an all natural beeswax lip balm that is so cool we are getting close to the end of this haul but don't go quite yet i have two more items to show you daniel did get one thing i guess a lot of the booths he didn't really find much but we did find this cute little red panda i think this is literally the cutest thing ever it is so soft if you guys can tell this is just the softest thing and the tail is just adorable 
It does have eyes, but it kind of, <laughs> the fur kind of covers the eyes a little bit, but I just, this is so cute. I wish I would have gotten something for myself. I was walking around the store just like petting it like this because it's so, so soft. <laughs> For the last item, I'm going to invite in my roommate, Zach, and we are going to try it together. Hi, I'm back. Hi, guy. Oh, wait, why am I saying hi? I'm getting nervous. Hey. You're looking at yourself. Look at the <laughs> camera right here. <laughs> so I have my roommate, Zach, with me. We wanted to try this together, but honestly, I'm not excited to try this because we just went to... Hertz Donuts. Hertz. I don't know if you guys have heard of Hertz Donuts, but their donuts are dessert okay sorry little malfunction everything just decided to go wrong for a second but we went to hertz donuts and probably ate 100 grams of sugar each mm -hmm. and i honestly feel kind of nauseous thinking about eating this but we're gonna do it together why because we ate so much sugar okay guys this is what we got i believe it's from annie's homemade sweets so there is a website i will link that below of course it is a s'mores toasted marshmallows hershey bar and graham cracker milk chocolatey goodness <laughs> that is a long name from looking at it it is a graham cracker coated in milk chocolate with little marshmallows that have been roasted a little seared 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 is word maybe and then little hershey's this looks really good but okay let's do a smell test that smells mm, good. Smells good. It does smell really it is, good. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It is Hershey's. Yes, it's Hershey's. Well, that's good. Graham crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is out of the package. Guys, you cannot tell me this doesn't look so good. Mm. <laughs> Boy, your breath smell like Graham crackers. <laughs> Are we gonna take a bite at the same time? Sure. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna take a bite at the same time, but don't make it weird. Don't watch. <laughs> Don't watch. They're going to be watching. Don't look at me. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Let's share this together. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's good. That is good. These are good s'more. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I love s'mores. That is so good. This is so good, guys. Do I think you can make it for a lot cheaper? Yes. It was $3.95 for this. This is honestly better than some of the donuts we ate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, Annie, you popped off with this. That was so good. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you guys like sit-down videos like this. I don't typically do those. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I typically do vlogs, but if you guys like this video, I wouldn't mind doing more of them. I will try and link all of the booths that I can remember down below in the description so you guys can check them out if you want, check out their websites, all that. And I will also link the website for the Painted Tree Boutiques that we went to, all two of them, and their locations as well. I'll also link Zach's ASMR channel, just, you know, I mean, he's in this video, so I, feel like, so I feel like if you guys want to check out Zach, you can. <laughs> he's a joy. This is so hard to get used to. <laughs> All he wants to do is stare at himself, so conceited. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>